Many people think SpaceX is just a satellite launching company, but that's a big misconception. SpaceX is transforming every part of space exploration, from rockets and human space travel to future missions far beyond Earth. They do launch satellites, but that's really to support their much bigger vision, like making missions possible with the gigantic Starship. And now, SpaceX is doing something even bigger. They're supporting the development of an entirely new space station. In today's video, we're going to explore how SpaceX is playing a role in the future of space stations and what this means for humanity's next steps into space. And before we dive in, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking projects. Let's get started with some background. The International Space Station, or ISS, has been in orbit for more than two decades. But it's starting to show its age, and it's scheduled to retire around 2030. So NASA, along with its international partners, has been planning for the next steps. Ideally, they want a new space station that can continue their work and host future space missions. Space stations are constantly exposed to the harsh environment of space, which leads to accelerated wear and tear. They endure extreme temperature changes, high levels of radiation, and impacts from micrometeoroids and space debris. These factors degrade materials, electronics, and life support systems at a much faster rate than on Earth, creating an ongoing need for repairs and upgrades. The Soviet Union's Salyut program in the 1970s launched the first space stations, but these were basic compared to modern stations. Salyut 1, for example, had a short mission in 1971, but faced significant challenges, including a tragic depressurization incident that led to the crew's loss upon re-entry. Following Salyut, the Soviet Union launched Mir in 1986, the first modular space station that could be expanded over time by adding new segments. Mir operated for 15 years, but it suffered numerous breakdowns, including electrical problems, power losses, and even a collision with a resupply spacecraft. The current space station was built as a collaborative effort between the U.S., Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. Designed with lessons from Mir, it uses a modular setup, with each module designed for a specific purpose, such as research labs, living spaces, and docking ports. The International Space Station can house up to six astronauts at a time. However, it has faced increasing challenges over time. The Russian segments of the International Space Station have developed air leaks in recent years, and NASA reports frequent maintenance requirements that keep the station operational, but are costly and complex. Many of its systems are outdated and struggle to keep up with modern research demands. NASA and its partners have therefore planned for the ISS's retirement around 2030, which has prompted efforts to develop next-generation space stations. With the ISS nearing the end of its life, private company VAST has proposed an alternative space station. The VAST space station is being designed to be more adaptable, efficient, and prepared for commercial and scientific use. VAST's plan involves launching two primary modules, Haven 1, which is expected to launch in 2025, and Haven 2, the main module, set for 2028. Haven 1 will be a smaller module designed to test the viability of various systems in space. It will also allow VAST to gain operational experience before committing to the full-scale Haven 2. Haven 2 is planned as a much larger, fully equipped station capable of supporting longer missions and larger crews. At 16 meters long, it will have twice the usable volume of Haven 1 and be able to support advanced research with larger payloads and better life support systems. Docking ports at both ends will allow Haven 2 to connect with other modules or spacecraft, giving it flexibility for future expansions or collaborations. After the launch of the initial Haven 2 module in 2028, VAST plans to expand by adding additional modules every six months until 2032, forming a cross-shaped structure around a central 7-meter-wide core module, expected to launch in 2030. This core will act as the hub of the station, equipped with an airlock for spacewalks, robotic arms for maintenance, and docking ports to support visiting spacecraft. The thing is, VAST isn't a rocket company. They don't own rockets, and they've never launched one. So, you might be wondering, 
How are they planning to build and launch a whole new space station without owning a rocket? That's where SpaceX comes in. VAST has partnered with SpaceX to launch the station's modules into orbit. The initial stage of VAST's project will involve SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, a rocket known for its heavy payload capacity. Falcon Heavy has successfully launched multiple missions, making it one of the most powerful operational rockets today. With this capacity, Falcon Heavy will handle the initial launches of the Haven modules, starting with Haven 1 as early as 2025. Falcon Heavy can carry payloads of up to 63,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit, making it a reliable choice for transporting the modules needed for VAST space station. For the larger central components of Haven 2, VAST will rely on SpaceX's Starship, which is expected to be operational by the time these modules are scheduled for launch around 2030. Starship is designed to handle even larger payloads than Falcon Heavy, making it the ideal choice for the core module of Haven 2. With its payload capacity of over 100,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, Starship can carry multiple large components, reducing the number of individual launches needed and ensuring efficient delivery of VAST's larger modules to orbit. Starship is currently in an active test phase, with five launches conducted so far. SpaceX's fifth Starship flight, in particular, was a breakthrough, providing critical data that highlighted the craft's readiness for orbital launches. The fifth flight test included a full-stack launch, where both the Starship vehicle and its super-heavy booster were flown together. During the fifth test flight of SpaceX's Starship on October 13th, SpaceX achieved a major milestone, successfully catching the super-heavy booster using their launch tower's chopstick arms. Known as Mechazilla, this system captured the booster midair as it returned to the launch site. This successful test followed prior missions where Super Heavy had either splashed down at sea or was deliberately destroyed due to technical issues. Starship itself completed a suborbital flight, reaching a peak altitude of 212 kilometers before a controlled descent and splashdown in the Indian Ocean. The upcoming sixth flight, which has received approval under the current FAA license, will continue to test and refine these capabilities with a focus on achieving a fully reusable Starship system. If the next tests are successful, SpaceX expects to begin carrying payloads into orbit by 2025, aligning well with future missions, including NASA's Artemis III lunar landing and SpaceX's long-term Mars goals. This continuous progress brings Starship closer to supporting major missions, including launching components of VAST's Haven 2 space station around 2030, which would leverage Starship's massive payload capacity for efficient station assembly in orbit. Don't forget to check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.